Good morning, Facebook. I know y'all seen my post on uh, Twitter, social media. I'm at a Jessup Correctional Facility. I can't show y'all because that's against the law. I'll be breaking the law. But this for the inmates. This for the people that's locked up. This for all the brothers that's locked up behind that stop snitching video. Remember back in 2006, Governor O'Malley stop and frisk. Remember Bill, remember uh, Kwai Sin Fume? The crime bill, 1986. 1986, I turned in guns and drugs to the police. I wanted to quit, and I quit. I retired in 1986 in such a shorty way. Now, every time y'all mention my name now, y'all locking me up, trying to charge me with crimes I don't commit. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. 1986, that was activism. That wasn't terrorism. I turned in guns and drugs because y'all trade guns and drugs to keep the streets of Baltimore incarcerated. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and we the cash crop. <laughs> y'all came in my house in 2010 and put guns in my head. Y'all had me locked up in 2007. Y'all tried to charge me with terrorism in Lake County, Illinois. I'm exposing Lake County and Baltimore City and Baltimore County, the tale of three cities. I filed my paperwork with the courts. President Obama asked for an investigation in 2008. I gave you all the information and nobody want to act on it. And I ain't mad at you. So this is what we're going to do to you. We started this in 2006. All right. With Governor O'Malley. Get Shorty. It was a movie called Get Shorty. It's about guns, drugs, gangs, and violence. See that? That's Get Shorty. See that? That's 2009. That's the White House. See that? That's Biden. That's Jeff Majors. You see that? We're talking about Governor O'Malley and his mom machine. Y'all want us to be mad at uh at Trump? When well, I'm gonna give you Trump past, I'm gonna give you Trump present, and I'm gonna give you Trump future. Cause both of y'all living off the black bodies. Both of y'all don't care about black people. President Trump, President Biden, Kwaisi and Fume. It's all about the money you make off of us. We more than hashtags in a t-shirt. You feel me? We more than hashtags with a t-shirt. So I'm going to hook you up. Welcome to the big show. All right. Y'all locked me up because I was making a movie about how, to, how you make money off of black bodies. Clack Clack came to town and got paid. She work at Fox 45 now. But this is what I did to you. I gave you the political scene. I gave you a story, and the story was about how you sell black Baltimore out. I'm a political prisoner living in exile in my own country, so I got to put this on art. I got to earn a living. Shorties. I'm setting rats for traps, traps for rats. Clack, clack, you came to Baltimore and all you did is got paid. I don't see you on North Avenue no more. I see you on TV a lot. We still hungry out here. Rats still running around. You came here to get paid. These are the supporters of shorties. You see that? We are employing any and appropriate officials in the state of Maryland. Ain't you a state of Maryland official? Ain't that the Department of Justice? You feel me? Law office. See, it's an interstate compact because I came here from Illinois. Like Dred Scott. I'm a free man in one state and I'm a slave in another. And because I was making a movie about your prison industry right there. Offenders application for interstate compact transfer. I was supposed to be in Las Vegas. I wasn't even supposed to be here. I was asked to get my shit transferred to Las Vegas because I had an interstate compact to be in Chicago, Baltimore, or Las Vegas. The tale of three cities. That's exhibit four. I was making a documentary. Governor Blagojevich went to jail. So can 52 members of the Democratic Party. Documentary. Dear Senator, dear Congressman, yeah, you got that. Kwasi and Fumi got this. So when you talk about racism, racism don't work without black cooperation. That's the school of law. And I'm not a law student. That's Parliament Funkadelic. That's the Department of Justice. That's Judge Papaya, Judge Turnbull, Judge Souter. And y'all all participated in fraud in 2011. That's my Department of Justice ID number. All videos and legal material. That's the Department of Justice. 
And that's the state's attorney's office. So if you got the information, you ain't going to tell on Governor O'Malley. Like I said, this is a snitching video. I work with Out for Justice. That was voter suppression. You feel me? That was voter suppression. That's shorty. That's Out for Justice. You feel me? That's Out for Justice. Mm. And that's shorty's pit beef and ribs. John Hopkins University, cardiology. That's Dick Gregory. He ain't here no more. But you are. And so is this. False imprisonment. Police brutality. Judicial fraud. That's from 2014. Where was you at? Oh. Because right there. It says Harry Spikes. All right. It says all the evidence. That's Harry Spikes. That's your office. So that's your learning moment. That's your learning moment. You want to address racism here? We already know what's coming here. We see what's going there. So y'all in a, a position between a hell and between, they call it a rock and a hard place. I made $1,500 a day at my store. I was making $260,000 a year from 2007, December, two, from December, no, from January 1st, 2008 till this day. Y'all got to pay me for my store because y'all kidnapped me in Illinois and in Maryland. President Obama asked for an investigation. Y'all ain't did nothing yet. The Department of Justice got it. Robert Hur has it. The state prosecutor got it. T.J. Smith know about it. It's a whistleblower's application on the courts. Chief Justice Roberts got it. Judge Cox got it. Judge Mary Barbera got it. Delegate, Delegate Sheila Roof got it. Chief Hyatt got it. Johnny Oleski got it. You got it. We're going to see who's going to snitch on Governor O'Malley. Brandon Scott. Who's going to go to jail for Governor O'Malley? Nick Mosby. Marilyn Mosby. You got 52 members of Governor O'Malley's mom machine. We getting ready to unmask all of y'all. Art and evidence. Art and activism. The Rolling Shorty Show. We're going to unmask you 2021. You owe me, you're gonna pay me. You made a bet with me. You lost. You lost in court and you're gonna lose in the streets. Then we're gonna put it on the silver screen so everybody see what being black in America is. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and we the cash crop. That shit gotta stop. And the war on drugs, stop that war in the black community. If you don't, man, you gotta deal with me. N62528. That's who I am.